Alexis Green is here with the weather and Storm Katie has been and gone, hasn't she, Alexis? She has, and Danny, yes, she's moved north and eastwards. Through the course of tonight, we'll see further strong winds. But let's take a look at the wind gusts we saw earlier on this morning. The Isle of Wight, 106 mile an hour gusts. Even inland areas seeing gusts of up to around 70 miles per hour. Blustery conditions leading to all that damage. Overnight tonight, we'll still hold on to the strong winds. There may be some heavy showers with the risk of hail and even thunder. The showers rattling their way through on a brisk westerly wind with temperatures tonight in some countryside areas falling to around three or four Celsius. But there will be some dry interludes as well. The winds will continue to be strong tomorrow, especially where we have any heavy showers. So showers more likely during the morning and also through the afternoon. A dry interlude before this next weather system pushes in. Potentially heavy rain, thunderstorms and hail can't be ruled out with temperatures in any sunny spells reaching a high of 10 to 11 Celsius. So here's your outlook for the rest of the week. Tomorrow, thunderstorms are a possibility. We'll have brisk southwesterly winds along the coast. We could see wind gusts of 40 to 50 miles per hour. A lot more cloud around on Wednesday, the odd isolated shower, but some sunny spells to be had on Thursday with sunshine also through Friday. So it is improving, and Jana. That's much better. Thank you, Alexis. Well, that's all from us for now. More on the BBC News website, our next programme at 5 to 11.